What's going on everyone? Today I wanna to show you how to build and then export from an Adobe Premiere project, the best settings for a YouTube video. So why don't you open up Premiere and we're just gonna hit new project. Um, in this case, I'll save to the desktop and I'm just gonna call it YouTube export test. Um, make sure your scratch disks are heading to a particular folder just for ease of cleaning in the future. And we want our video rendering and playback to be set to playback engine GPU acceleration. That'll make the GPU um, part of the process when it's rendering out heavier effects and it'll sort of speed things along. So everything else should default to the proper settings and we're just gonna hit okay. Great, so now we're in Premiere. So the first step is I wanna bring in my actual footage. So I'm just gonna bring in a time lapse. Just drop it right in there. And then what I wanna do is I wanna actually build a sequence for this project. So I'm gonna right click, new item, sequence. Now there's a number of presets over here and I've actually found that it's easier if I just build my own preset and then you can go forth and actually save that preset. So I pop over into settings and we're just gonna work our way down this list. So editing mode is actually gonna be custom. Time base, this is whatever you shot in. So in this particular case, I'm in 23.976 frames, but if you know you're shooting something at 30 frames a second, etc., you can adjust that here. Frame size is 1920 by 1080. This could vary depending on your footage. If you're shooting something 4K, you would wanna put that in here at the higher size. In this case, we'll keep it simple with the 1920 by 1080. Square pixels, no fields progressive scan. The display format should be fine with this time code here. Your sample rate is gonna be 48,000 Hertz, audio samples. Video previews, you can make some adjustments depending on what type of footage you shot, but you should be fine if you leave it just as the default iframe only MPEG. And I like to check off maximum bit depth and maximum render quality to really improve the view I'm getting when I'm editing a project and making sure that everything looks okay prior to my export. Now, if you like this preset, you can go ahead and hit save preset and I'm just gonna call it the YouTube sequence and save that. Next time you come in, you'll actually have your custom sequences built here for you. And I'm just gonna call this YouTube export for my sequence name. Now we've built that and you can just take your clip and drop it right onto the timeline. What might happen is when you drop your clip, you might see, let me grab another clip just to show you. If you take something that's a different size, a different clip, I'm gonna take something that's um, not 1920 by 1080 and I drop it onto this line. It's gonna ask me, the clip doesn't match the sequence settings. Do I wanna keep my settings or change them according to my clip? I'm gonna keep them so that I'll have the same actual look that we built with our preset for the sequence. So let me get rid of that and I'm just gonna bring back in my original time lapse. Great. So assume that we do a full edit and then this is our final video that we wanna export, and I'm just gonna do this one clip. Well, I set my in, the beginning I hit home, in, go to the end of my clip, and hit O for my out. So now I have my in and out, and I'm ready to export. Well, just go up to file, export, media, or you can hit Apple M. All right, so when we have our export window up, we wanna to go to H.264 for our format, and for our preset, if you open this up, you'll notice you have a ton of options. These are various presets that have been added throughout the years, but we just wanna scroll down to HD 1080p 23.976. Now, if you had a 30 frame per second video, you could do the 29.97 or any variation of the frame rates here, but we wanna to go to HD 1080p 23.976. You wanna adjust your output name. I'm gonna save this to the desktop, YouTube export final. And then you just wanna pop down into your video setting here. We wanna make sure we're good with 1920 by 1080. Everything here should pretty much match what we initially set up for our sequence. 
Your profile you can change from main to high. Level we can leave at 4.2. VBR one pass, we can change to two pass. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but it's going to make sure everything looks, you know, the colors look good and everything looks proper. The target bitrate can be adjusted. Now, the key here is file size. So if we look down at the bottom, you see the estimated file size is 74 megabytes, which isn't too bad. If you need to, for some reason, move this to a lower number, you can actually lower your maximum bitrate. And you'll see as we lower the target and max bitrate, our estimated file size changes. But let's bring this back. We'll bring it back up to about 32 for the target and 40 for the maximum. We can quickly pop over into audio just to see what's going on, but it's going to default to the AAC audio format. Bitrate, we might want to, yeah, we're actually good at about 192. You just want to be above about 160 with your bitrate on the audio. And everything should be good here. So now we're ready to export. There's two options that we can do here. One is a little bit faster. The first option is to just hit export. And what's that gonna, what that will do is Premiere will start exporting your video for you. The issue here is that you cannot use Premiere while this is happening. The other option is to hit Q, which is the faster option. This will open up Adobe Media Encoder, and it's gonna bring your project into Media Encoder to be exported. It'll have all of your presets all ready. It'll have your file name ready and the destination ready. If you didn't adjust those before, you can adjust those here, but it should be ready for you. And the key is the renderer down at the bottom. This is where you wanna make sure your GPU acceleration is on. This should speed up your export um, pretty significantly if you have a lot of effects in your timeline. So now I can hit play. That will start rendering out and I could still go into Premiere and do work if I wanted to. I could even close out of Premiere and this will still be exporting. So these settings should give you perfectly what you need for YouTube. YouTube likes these settings. It'll work perfectly with the processing and the uploading, but be sure to let me know if you have any questions, leave comments and I can try to help you out as needed. So thanks for watching today, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll be back for more tutorial videos soon. Have a good one.